Morning everyone. Right, what I've got here, um, I'm going to be doing this bottle, of course, and I do have the ballerina to do, but I have been extremely, extremely busy. Um, what I did though last night to go on this bottle, I've made one of these butterflies, but I think it's too big. So I'm going to be making another one, uh, showing you how to do that. And it's made from wallpaper. And I managed to find um, some beautiful wallpaper. Didn't like the price. <laughs> but this is a vintage. Um, I'm not sure if you can see it. Look at the beautiful writing and roses on it. Um, shabby sheet wallpaper. Uh, it's just stunning. Beautiful roses. So what I've uh, done, I thought, well, I can make lots and lots of things with that. Plus cover backgrounds and shadow boxes. and So, yeah, it'll get a lot of uses and there's a big roll of it. And now I want it for the bedroom. <laughs> just one wall, the featured wall. Oh, I'd look, no, but two, yeah, hmm, two walls. So um, I'm, I've cut some out of the paper and I just think it looks gorgeous. I mean, you don't see that much of it when it's decorated. But I've ended up with that. So we're going to do one of those. Uh, and I think what I'll do is I'm going to use this one and just snip this out a little bit smaller than what I've already done it. Uh, I just think that was a, a slightly... Um, too big. But this one will be better. Like, oh, I've cut it in half, look. <laughs> I go, I went too far. That was a bit silly, wasn't it? But no, never mind. We won't waste. It's the right size what I want. And what you do there is... Uh, where's my bit of paper? Where did I put my bit of paper? Um, yeah, we'll use a bit of chipboard, I think. Get a bit of chipboard. Make a cock up like that. Like that. Fold the chipboard in half, sort of. Like that. Just like that, not like this, but like that. Um, and we just, if it'll work, and take that half, there. See, not lost at all. There we go, like that that's fine and it's given it a little bit of dimension as well yeah <clears throat> so that's fine i'm just going to get a couple more of these little beads because we need three of those probably two or three anyway there we go now what i did with mine i actually stuck mine in with wire and i had a piece of wire last night here we go so we're just going to make this first just a piece of wire and then what you do I'm going to show you that as well in a minute so you pop your bead on oops like that and then pop your other two beads Do that way, laid it. See? Like that. But then you move your back bead, the last one you put on, and then just put that one on as well. Oops. And then snip that off. This wire is too thick to make the antennae, so we're going to make those separately. Um. But first of all, we need a little bit of lace, which I've got some here. And we don't need much. I'm just going to measure that, make sure that's the same. It's just a little bit of decoration, that's all. Now, last night, what I did, I put the... Um, glitter underneath. But I don't think I'm going to bother doing that this time. And I'm just going to glue this straight on. 
and it's just a tiny wee bit of lace you don't need much on that side on that side like that and you take your glue and you add your bead oops a daisy straight onto that Now I put some tiny little flowers in here, but I think on this one, I don't have any smaller than that. So let me just see. No, they're, they're not right. I need them really, really tiny, but I don't have any. So I will have to use, um, I mean, you can do it without and I could just put some glitter there. I'm not sure if I want to actually. Oops, the small ones. No, we'll stick to the. Oh, sorry, that's a big one. Where did the little one go? I cut some off, didn't I? Yeah, there's a little one. We'll just put two for now. Oops. I'm just going to cut a couple more. I mean, they are so simple to make. They're not hard at all. Um, <clears throat> there's another one. And there's the other one. Like that. And then what I did, I just got the um, glossy accents... Made sure oh, it was available <laughs> and popped a little bit of glue just around the edge. Now we just need a little something like this will do. Take my glitter. hold it over something of course and you see just tap that off I could have done it first and dried it and I should have done but I forgot about it so no loss doesn't matter not harming anyone and it'll still do the same job and I don't know about you lot out there but we've got nothing but blooming rain again it's rained practically all night So again, just keep pouring your glitter on. I mean, the glossy accents doesn't take long to dry. And there you go, you've got a butterfly ready and I just need to put the antennae on, which I'll do that in a minute. Give that chance to dry while I uh, pop this back into the tub. I've got it on there, it doesn't matter. Normally I would be organised, but I'm not. I'm disorganised this morning, unfortunately. I'm actually busy as hell. So we just pop... Don't matter about that bit of glitter. Pop the lids on. I've had this. Do you know what? I bought this... Oh, four years ago. And, I mean, I do use glitter. I use fine glitter a lot. I use it to make my own stickles. Um, and i still got plenty left. Still. Just a nice thing to have. So, put my lid on. We'll just let that butterfly dry a minute. Um, 
and that's what you're going to end up with. I'll do the antennae. Just cut a bit of this off. Bend it in the middle. I've shown you how to do this. We've got videos on how to do coat hangers, um, antennae, you name it, there's a video on it. And if you want to know if I've done anything, which <laughs> I've probably done it all uh, for you, is type in my name, Jennings644, type in um, wording, all the different wordings, because sometimes I name them slightly different, but they mean the same thing. And... Um, See if it's there, and it probably will be. The only thing I haven't done a crafting on is resin, and that's going to come. So I've probably done it on everything else but that. And then we're just going to add the antennae on. Just let that dry. Like that. Actually, I can move that up a bit, I think. That'll do there. Yeah, that's better. So even though it's a little bit smaller, that will look better, far better on my bottle. And that's what I want. I want a handmade butterfly on the bottle. And that's just by trimming it down a little bit. So like I say, we'll let that one dry. We'll move that one out of the way. So that you know how to do that. Ain't they pretty? Bye-bye for now.